Hi everyone, I'm just going to give you a quick little swatch of the brand new Rimmel The Only One lipsticks. Um, here they are here. You can see that um, the bullet is a little bit of an odd shape. I love Rimmel lipsticks. I really, really do. I think they're some of the best in the drugstore. But Rimmel, please, please, can you make them a flat top? Because these are impossible to store upside down to see the colour. Just a little, little message for you there. Um, otherwise, I love Rimmel uh, lipsticks. They're just so creamy, so pigmented all the time. And they always come in a really great um, color range at quite a good price. But that aside, here we have the brand new Rimmel The Only One lipstick. They are promising to be long wearing, moisturizing, um, as well as a whole bunch of other um, claims. They're, I mean, I do like the packaging other than the fact that, you know, I'm a bit of a wuss and I hate that I can't see uh, the colors standing up because I have to do that as they won't stand up. Again, that aside, um, I've got six colors here. I thought I'd swatch them for you. So I have uh, 110, um, which is Pink A Punch. I have 600, which is Peachy Beachy. I have 610, Cheeky Coral, 710, Easy Does It, 810, One of a Kind, and 700, Naughty Nude. Now, it's it's pretty good, so um, I'm, I'm thankful Cody sent me a really great um, selection of colours. They're not all reds, they're not all nudes, they're not all mauves. Um, but like I said, there are, I believe, 12 colours available, um, and this is half of them. So I thought I'd just go ahead and, without further ado, just um, swatch them for you. So, um, here is what they look like. They're that flat top, which, I mean, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with because... Um, I love that they're a little bit more sturdy than the um, bullets and you only have to really just put up a little bit of product to use it. However, if you are someone who has quite small lips, then it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to apply. Um, that aside, that's, you know, that that's just what it is. A lot of different um, companies do this now. So um, here we are starting off with um, Pink A Punch 110. It is very bright in the tube. I don't know if I can focus that a little better. Um, it looks like in real life, it's just leaning a little bit more uh, fuchsia than is uh, um, looking on camera. But um, here we go. Here is um, Pink A Punch 110. Oh, wow. Really, really smooth, actually. Really smooth. And um, they almost feel like... Um, you know, the, um, they remind me a lot of the Revlon lip butters in um, texture, but of course they're very pigmented. Wow. Okay, so that's beautiful. That's uh, 110 Pinker Punch. Next, we're going to go with 600, which is Beachy Peachy. Oh, no, Peachy Beachy. Sorry, wrong way around. So Peachy Beachy, as the name suggests, is... Um, quite peachy, kind of a little coraling. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so yeah, I suppose I would call that a peach. It's a little um, in the tube now that I've swatched it. It's gone a little creamier. Um, but yeah, on the lips, on the sorry, on the ah, on the swatch here. It looks um, beautiful, actually, really beautiful. Um, okay, so that's really pretty. Um, it's also worth noting these have a scent. I want to say that they are Melanie scented, um, but I'm not sure. I'm never good at this stuff. All right, next we have 610 Cheeky Coral. Doing this one-handed. All right, this is, wow, these are so bright and beautiful so this is um cheeky coral um i don't know see to my naked eye this in the tube at least it looks like a red it looks quite red but let's see uh, let's go over here oh yeah that's so nice 
don't know if my angle is really giving you the best um, view of these, but that is really pretty. Okay, 710. Easy does it. From the colour, this looks like it's going to be quite dark. Oh, okay. Wow, I would call that like a, in the tube at least, I would call that like a raisin type colour. Um, it's got, it is quite brown. It looks like it might have a little shimmer in it. I'm not sure see if we can focus here for you. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure this is something I would wear, but um, it looks quite on trend actually. Okay, all right, so it's a little better than I thought it would be. It's um, It's got a little mauve in it. It's got a little berry shades. I could definitely do that, I think. Yeah, okay. 810 is another vampy sort of shade. This is one of a kind. Oh, I like this one. This one just looks like, I don't know, it looks beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's look at this one. <gasps> okay, I just died. That is so nice. That actually reminds me a lot of Rebel from MAC, um, but it's just so creamy. It's, oh, that's so pretty. Okay. These colours are quite um, true to colour on camera, but not 100%. These are actually so much prettier in real life. And finally, my new obsession, which is, um, you know, the nudie kind of dusty roses. I'm hoping this is what this one is, because I haven't actually seen these before. Um, this is 700 Naughty Nude. Sounds promising. And I was right, thank goodness. This is like a um, mauve kind of nude. It's not a nude nude. It's got that pinkiness to it, in the tube at least. Let's have a look on, on swatching yes okay perfect all right i'm going to try and get you to see a slightly better view of these um you can see there there's the nude that's the berry shade that's the brownie mauve that's the coral that's the peach and that's the pink we'll try one more time with some different lighting there's a pink, peach, coral, mauvey brown, berry, and nude. We're all out of focus here at the moment. That's terrible. And one last time with some different lighting, we have the, the nude, the berry, the brown, the coral, the peach, and the pink okay so um at first swatch these are really really nice these are beautifully smooth they um uh, feel very moisturizing at least I, like i said i haven't really tried them i haven't tried them at all actually i haven't this is the first time i've opened them to have a look at them um but i'm very very impressed with the pigmentation i'm very very impressed with these colors at least that i've seen um, these, uh, I only just, I only got these yesterday. They were sent to, um, my mum's place. So I couldn't pick them up until yesterday, but I did see them. Um, I actually saw them in Priceline, but having a look at the website, I can't find them. I can see them, however, on Target website. Um, and they're on special for $11.95 at the moment. By the time this video goes up, that might not be the case. Um, uh, this won't go up for another maybe week or so. Um, so I'm sorry about that if you miss out on that. Um, but, you know, these are really beautiful. I'm actually impressed. I think these might be my favourite Rimmel lipsticks yet. I think they're just gorgeous. Um, I think they're definitely worth checking out, like I said. Even at full price, $15.95, these uh, I, I would purchase. I would purchase at $15.95, considering I have so many lipsticks and 
I'm a little bit drowning at the moment in, in lipstick, but um, I would purchase, okay? So they're my first impressions. Um, I need to wear them. I need to, you know, try them out properly. But like I said, first impressions, these are beautiful. They feel really moisturizing. Um, and I think that's why they're called the only one because they're supposed to just have, they do everything. So they're very moisturizing. They're long wearing. They're um, filling in lines in your um, lips, all that sort of stuff that we want from a lipstick. Um, yeah. Yeah cool the only thing i think i should say is that um these aren't matte they do have some sheen to them um they're not frosty they're not um so they're matte in the they've got flat color they're definitely flat color but they do have a slight sheen to them um so if i show you that you can see they've got a little bit of sheen it'd be interesting to see if that actually affects their, their wear time I don't know we'll see all right thank you i hope you're enjoying these videos these um video videos aren't intended to be um, um standalone content they're supposed to be seen within a, a blog post on the website if you don't know um the website it's uh www.lipstickandlinguini.com so these are just here as, and you can see all the photos and my thoughts and all sorts of stuff um, on the website and this is just here to give you a little bit of a more realistic view of what these things look like um, so um, I'm doing this one the Rimmel one there's a L'Oreal one a Maybelline one there is the first one I ever did was a Rimmel um, nail color one which is so shonky you have to look at it it's just really bad um, there's also what else is there there's there's a whole bunch there's a whole bunch that if they haven't been uploaded yet they will be uploaded soon um, I just thought um, I would give you a little bit of a uh, background look at what happens and how I go ahead and sweep, swatch, sorry, switch, and um, yeah, and, and sort of a better look at these products, okay? All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is my first non-Snapchat uh, video. Um, this one is just done just, you know, straight from my phone, actually, so excuse the quality. Um, so there's no editing, no cutting, nothing is going on. This is just raw footage to show you product okay so i hope you like it please leave a comment um either in the blog post or on the video here at youtube on youtube to let me know give me some suggestions what do you think i need to do are there any ways that i can improve my um quality of shooting again like i said i'm just basically using my iphone um on a tripod but are there any things that i could do to um perhaps um you know fix what I'm doing like I get it it's not it's not perfect um, but I just thought I would um, have a go and see if you guys enjoy this and see if this is a little bit more useful to you than just um, sorry <laughs> whether this is a little more useful than just um, blog posts um, let me know even let me know on Instagram if you're if you're seeing this and you follow me to Instagram um, just let me know what you're thinking about the videos okay thanks so much see you next time bye